Yum, wax moth worms. As a beekeeper, one of the critters that you get to know pretty well is a wax moth. They like to come into your hives, eat up your wax, lay their eggs so that there can be more moths. It's good to keep them out of your hive if possible, but sometimes it may be good also to raise them. If you follow along with my channel, you probably have seen at some point that I have melted some beeswax and collected beeswax in these cut milk cartons. I have two cartons that I left outdoors for a while and they both had just a little bit of wax in them. Well, the wax is mostly eaten up and now I have wax moth. Or really, wax moth worms. It's like a web, like a spider web, but if you pull it out, you can see all the worms that are stuck inside. Look there, they're crawling out. Yummy. Here is a perfect opportunity for me to collect these worms for something good. I like to use them for food. Okay, not for me. For some animals. I'll collect these in a bowl and then I'll show you what animals here on the farm can benefit from the wax moth worm. But first you have to promise not to tell Mama Curbs that I used her bowl for this process. Inside here is a mess of webbing. It just looks like a gooey mess. It's really not gooey, but inside, look at that. Oh, a, a moth flew out. Some of them, are, I guess, are already turning into moths. But I can collect these out of this webbing and put them in a bowl and feed them to some of my animals. Ooh, juicy. Come on out, big guy. I'm doing my best not to smash the worms. I, would, I don't want them to be worm goo. I want them to actually stay worms so that the animals can enjoy them. We'll see how many fit inside this milk carton. I have no idea how many worms I have here. Whoopsie. Oh, I didn't think they'd be able to get out of this bowl. nice and yellow. I wonder if they're more yellow, if that means they're more aged or less aged, meaning Ray closer to pupation or not. Stay in there. They have a very, very intricate web system here. Parts of it are very organized as if, you know, they're, they're making their little beds to pupate in and other parts are very disorganized just a big massive mess and i can't even tell where the worms are oops squashed him stay in there down in here where that's still really gooey i guess that's the wax that they're still eating there's some younger worms in there smaller worms. This is very waxy right here. All right, I'm gonna have to get a different bowl. I have enough worms right here to show you uh, some of the animals that are gonna get fed. All right, let's go ahead and get started and then I'll come out and finish harvesting worms from this right here. I wonder if we have a volunteer right here under the table. Here, chick, 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 chick. Whoop, chick, whoop, chick, whoop, chick. That's my chicken call. They're all too hot, hanging under the shade tree. Chick, 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 chick. They don't want to come over. Well, let's just go to them. Let's take this bowl of worms. First animal, of course, it just makes sense that uh, the chickens would be the recipients of such a fine delicacy, such as these worms. All right, we're back with another bowl. This one is a little bigger and hopefully a little more slick, slickery so that they can't climb the edges as well. We'll see if that works. See how many we have. I feel like I'm pouring cereal. There's gonna be a whole lot of wax 
mess that's just this webbing and I'm guessing that's their poo got a little tiny baby worm there up on the edges of the milk carton it's a little better formed and that's where they're hiding out in their little cocoon space if that's what it's called now there's still a lot of wax in this right this webbing so I could probably put this back out and collect more worms a little bit of me is upset that I lost that beeswax but now that I have already lost it I'd like to collect as many worms as I can for the animals and I'll show you we already fed the chickens but we're gonna feed a couple more critters and I'll show you they're getting really big and juicy in there there we go there's some in the middle of that you gotta rip it open come on guys don't climb the walls they're very tenacious climbers buried deep in the middle of this web mess are lots of worms I guess that new bowl didn't work out quite like I hoped it would stuck right to the side of the carton look right up in the in the sides that's where they're gathering and uh, they're a little easier to get to because you peel it right off the side of that milk carton wall and they're in these individual little cells I'm guessing that's cocoon space little worm condos can you imagine being a worm trying to climb out of this bowl just to have someone knock you down every time you get to the top how frustrating okay we have enough here to show you another critter another group of animals that we have on the farm that will benefit hey duck 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 they're a little bit timid they don't often get live treats except for what they find on their own I've seen ducks eat all kinds of worms and insects so I know that they appreciated that but they're not used to me giving them any of that stuff it's normally just what they find on their own and I don't think they liked my camera sitting there on the tripod filming them they don't use Instagram and take pictures of their lunch very often let's open this up and see how much wax is left down in the bottom there is still a bit of wax still down in there it's got a lot of a lot of web a lot of worm yeah that's a big chunk of wax right there that they some of it they didn't even get into it's that yellow at the bottom now for a while here on the farm I was collecting black soldier fly larvae which is much easier because they harvest themselves if you design the, the container correctly I just haven't done that in a few years and I would use the that larva the black soldier fly larva to um, feed the animals as well the chickens and the ducks and a couple other critters that I'll show you here in just a second We'll just keep dropping these worms into this bowl until we're satisfied. Some of these pieces like this is so loaded with worms. They just keep coming out. Their fingers are getting all waxy because of all the wax that's in this. Don't go away. I've seen some places that actually sell wax worm larva like this they call them wax worms they're wax moth larva they sell them as a uh, fishing bait or uh, pet food which is a nice segue into the next two critters that I'm going to uh, show you that I might feed these worms to we have a little decorative pond it's really hot so the fish are 
probably not too excited about coming up to the surface, but we're going to take some of these and throw them in there. There's catfish, goldfish, and there may even be a perch in there and some of these little minnows. Right, before I lose all my worms, I'm going to go and show you the next critter. No, not the cat. Down here we have Jenga. Oh, there he is. Hey, Jenga. Come on, Jenga. Come down before they all crawl away. He really loves crickets and he loves worms. So every once in a while when we get worms and crickets that we can give to him, he is just happy. I can see him smiling. No, really, I can see him smiling. Hey, thanks for sharing that time with me to enjoy just seeing something a little bit different with the wax moth. Here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, we believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my story with you and allowing me to be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon. Let me collect these in a bowl and then I'll show you what animals can benefit from the wax worm, from the, let me collect these in a bowl. I'll collect these in a bowl and then I'll show you what